Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to Forrest Gump. Now, this is a movie that has been on my watch list probably for as long as I've been watching movies. It's probably Tom Hanks's either most or one of his most iconic roles. It came out quite a while ago, probably before I was born, um, but it's still got like legendary status. Like I keep hearing this phrase, run forest, run. And I'm, I'm, I think it's from them, from this movie. And I just wanna see what it's all about because you know, it's when you look up the IMBD top 100 list, like this is like probably in the either top 10 or top 20. So yeah, I've got a really, uh, really high expectation of this movie. I expect it to be fantastic. So yeah, let's find out, let's do it. It's got that kind of music, you know, that like, how do you, how do you, how can I describe it? That sort of like nostalgic 80s, 90s sort of hopeful music. So we're following the feather. I'm guessing this feather's gonna be significant somehow. Well, look at those Nike trainers. Those are pretty beat up. You can leave the tick on the, on the right one, on the left one, sorry, it's peeling off. Ah, it's Tom Hanks. My name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. Ah. Life was like a box of chocolates. I've heard that phrase before. It's pretty true. Let's take a little walk around. Oh my God. Oh, did he have rickets or something? His legs are strong, Mr. Gump, but his back is crooked as a politician. <laughs> as crooked as a politician. We lived about a quarter mile off Route 17. Wow. About a half mile from the town of Greenbow, Alabama. That's Alabama. Kind of now, this is normal. Forest is right here. I mean, there's other ways to measure intelligence, though. There must be something can be done. Is she going to bribe him? She's going to bribe him. Progressive school system. Is that Mr. Gump? Oh, here we Mrs. go. Ah, <sighs> dear. She wasn't having it. <laughs> oh, actually, I think she is. <laughs> oh, that's great. I told you not to bother this nice young man. Oh, no, that's all right, man. I, I was just showing him a thing or two on the guitar here. Show me that crazy little walk you just did there. Slow down some. Is that meant to be, uh, yeah. is that meant to be Elvis Presley? No way. What? Get the fuck out. That's the dance that, uh, Forrest was doing in the, wow. Ah. Nice. I had never seen anything so beautiful in my life. Ah, bless. Does she become his wife or something? Do they, or best friends maybe? From that day on, we was always <laughs> together. Ginny and me was like peas and carrots. Ah, that's awesome. Just stay a little longer. Ah. For some reason, Ginny didn't ever want to go home. Oh God. Okay, Ginny, I'll stay. Is there something bad going on at her place? Really, guys? What the hell? Are you serious? Why are they, if I, I mean, what kind of little punk does that? Throws a stone at a kid. Oh, there we go. There we go. Wow, look at him go. That day on, if I was going somewhere, I was running. <laughs> I was running. Yeah, that's right, you little bastards. Jenny? He was a very loving man. He was always Jenny. kissing and touching her and her sisters. Oh, God. So he's abusive. Oh, my God. This is... <sighs> it, it breaks my heart that this shit actually happens, honestly. It really does. He had the police say Jenny didn't have to stay in that oh, house no more. Oh, fantastic. She oh. lived with her grandma. Oh. Just over on Creekmore Avenue. Hey, stop! 
Stupid. Are they still Man. throwing shit? Run, Forrest. Run. Forrest, please, please go up to that guy and punch him in his big fat face. Honestly. Why are they such assholes, though? Oh, is he going to join the football team? <laughs> no way. Is he going <laughs> to... And he's going to get scouted for the team. <laughs> it's crazy how things like that can happen, eh? <laughs> so I'm guessing this movie, he like... Loads of cool things happen to him. Coons are trying to get into school. Coons. Well, raccoons trying to get on our back porch. Mom just chasing them off with a <laughs> raccoons. raccoons. you idiot. So this has got to be 50s. Ken Kennedy, 50s, 60s. A few years later, that angry little man at the schoolhouse door thought it'd be a good idea and ran for president. Oh, oh my God. Oh, is that Jenny and her boyfriend? Forrest! Whoa! Forrest! <laughs> oh, Forrest. His his heart's in the right place, but you know. <laughs> Forrest doesn't know where to look right now. <laughs> Have you ever been with a girl, Forrest? Probably not. Sit next to them in my home economics class all the time. Oh. Okay. I think we know what's going to happen here. President Kennedy met with the collegiate All-American football team at the Oval <laughs> Office today. The CGI is actually pretty good for the time. I must have drank me about 15 Dr. Peppers. Oh my God, 15, dude. <laughs> he needs to go to the toilet. <laughs> I gotta pee. <laughs> I believe he said he had to go pee. <laughs> Somebody shot that nice young president when he was riding in his car. Mmm, yeah. After only five years of playing football, I got a college degree. Five years in college? It's quite a long time, isn't it? I was so proud. Have you given any thought to your future? Ah, military recruiter. Nice. Sit down if you want to. You ever been on a real shrimp boat? No. <laughs> but I've been on a real big boat. <laughs> Why is his face like that? <laughs> What's your sole purpose in this army? To do whatever you tell me, drill sergeant? <laughs> damn it, Gump! <laughs> you goddamn genius! Is that clear? Yes, yes drill sergeant! It's perfect for Forrest. Just follow instructions. If it wouldn't be a waste of such a damn fine enlisted man, I'd recommend you for OCS, Private Gump. You are going to be a general someday, Gump. Now, just as simple your weapon and continue. <laughs> I love that drill sergeant. Even though he's praising Forrest, he's like... <laughs> Coconut shrimp, pepper shrimp, shrimp soup, shrimp stew, shrimp salad. Are they using a toothbrush potatoes, to clean that floor? Burger, that's about it. <laughs> it's a lot, to be fair. Don't tell me he's going to see Jenny in there. Is that Jenny? Turns out, Jenny had gotten into some trouble over some photos of her in her college sweater. Oh, no. And she was thrown out of school. No. That is Jenny. Damn. So Jenny's dreams of becoming a superstar singer didn't quite materialize. Yep. She's got a good voice. You can Call him a man. Whose songs is this? Is this Bob Dylan? Oh, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. That's unacceptable. What are you doing here? <laughs> He's coming to what see you, you Jenny. Oh. He just wants to save her, but she doesn't want to be saved. She doesn't want to be saved. Forrest, you don't know what love is. Oh, Jenny, that's hurtful. You think I can fly off this bridge? Oh no, Jenny, don't. Jenny, don't do it. Don't you dare. I really hope she doesn't follow through with that. Man, imagine that. 
you know, you're in another country, you don't know if you're gonna make it back home. Crazy. Morning, sir. Oh, get your hands down. Goddamn snipers all around this area who love to grease an officer. Mm. I'm Lieutenant Dan Taylor. Welcome to Fort Platoon. Somebody in his family had fought and died in every single American war. That's crazy. Oh my god. Get on it. That's Gary Sinise, isn't it? He does a lot for uh, charity. I like that guy. Oh, what a great song. All along the watchtower, Jimi Hendrix. And we were always looking for this guy named Charlie. Charlie? Who could they, Che Guevara? Nah, he's not, he's not Vietnamese. One day, it started raining, and it didn't quit for four months. Four months. And sometimes rain even seemed to come straight up from underneath. <laughs> How would you like to go into the shrimping business with me? Ah! All the shrimp you can eat. <laughs> That's a fine idea. <laughs> That's awesome. At least he's got a, you know something to do after after he's uh, retired from military duty. I'd always let her know that I was okay. Then I'd sign each letter. Love, Forrest Gump. <sighs> I don't think Jenny's really gonna... Yeah, I think she's kind of over the friendship, really. This another classic song. Just like that. Oh, God. Somebody <laughs> turned off the rain. Oh! Oh, my God! Just like that. And they are under heavy fire right now. Heavy fire. Oh, no! Oh man, Bubba, don't die. Don't die, Bubba. I ran so far and so fast that pretty soon I was all by myself, which was a bad thing. Oh man. And every time I went back looking for Bubba, somebody <laughs> else was saying, help me, Forrest, help me. Wow, Forrest, man, you hero. You hero. We got Charlie all over this area. I gotta have those fast movers in here now. Okay, so Charlie's the oh, enemy, I see. You stay here, God damn it! That's an order! I gotta find Bubba! Oh, that's it. Can't leave his brother behind. But the thing is, uh, if he disobeys an, a direct order, can you get field marshaled for that? Or court marshaled or something? Some kind of marshal. Okay, Boris. I'm okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. Damn. Crazy shit. Come on, get Bubba out of there. Mate, Forrest deserves the Medal of Honor for this. If I'd have known this was going to be the last time me and Bubba was going to talk, oh. I'd have thought of something better to say. I want to go home. Oh, man. Bubba was my best good friend. For fuck's sake, I'm so pissed. A good friend of mine was in the bed right next door. Ah, Lieutenant Dan. Oh no! Oh, returned. Oh man. Jenny, honestly, you disappoint me. I played ping pong even when I didn't have anyone to play ping pong with. Even He's Luke crushing it. Would come and watch me play. What the fuck? Shoot! have died out there with my men. Oh. Oh, yeah, because his ancestors all died, didn't they? I was supposed to die in the field. I was Lieutenant Dan Taylor. But you still are. You still Lieutenant Dan. Yeah. BFC Gump. Yes, sir. <laughs> As you were, you've been awarded the Medal of Honor. Yes. <laughs> Where were you hit? Very proud day. The bot talk, so I'd kind of like to see that. <laughs> Why though? <laughs> Did he just moon the president? Did he just moon the president? <laughs> now, for some reason, he was wearing an American flag for a shirt. Who's that guy? And half that, 
And every time he said the F word, people, for some reason, well, they cheer. I'm guessing that guy is someone well known from history. So they're using Forrest as like an anti-war propaganda prop. Uh. Oh. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> oh, God. Ruin the moment. Oh, so awkward. Is that, is that Jenny? What is she doing in the water? I'm so confused right now. Hey man, he's cool. He's cool. He's one of us. Let me tell you about us. The hell? Our purpose here is to protect our black leaders from the racial onslaught of the pig who wishes to brutalize our black leaders. Okay, so these guys, so these are the Black Panthers? In their own communities as they sleep in their beds. Forrest isn't even listening to him. He's just like, whoa! What the fuck? That guy just slapped the shit out of her. Forrest is laying the smacketh down. She told wow. me about all the traveling she'd done. She discovered ways to expand her mind. Oh, acid, huh? Just this war and that, that lying son of a bitch Johnson. It would never hurt you. You just did, though. You did. I would never hurt you. You should go home to Greenbow, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> that told this podcast. <laughs> he was like, you touch her again and I find out, dude. <laughs> so I was in the special services. I was so good that some years later, the army decided that I should be on the All-America Ping Pong team. Wow. I was a national celebrity. What the heck? This is crazy. Is that John Lennon? For no particular reason at all, somebody shot, you know? Oh my God, yeah. Oh, there he is. Is that Lieutenant Dan? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Have you found Jesus yet? No. I didn't know I was supposed to be looking for him. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's an angry man. Heaven, Lieutenant Dan. Shrimping boats. Shrimping boats? Who gives a shit about shrimping boats? Shrimp. You gotta buy me one of them shrimp boats as soon as I have some money. Okay. I thought that someone else was talking about shrimp. I was thinking, what? Is Bubba alive? A promise is a promise, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> I will come and be your first mate. <laughs> oh. If you're ever a shrimp boat captain. Now you've said it. 1972. So yeah, that means the start of the movie must have been like the 50s, right? Oh. Don't call him stupid. Hey, don't you punch her. Yeah, shut up. Don't you ever call him stupid. Yeah, that's, that's what you want to see. Some loyalty from Lieutenant Dan. Happy New Year, Gump. <sighs> He's in a dark place, man. You know? Well, where are you staying? It's called the Hotel Ebot. Oh, no, 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 no. I know of a much nicer hotel. It's brand new. The lights are off and they must be looking for a fuse box or something because in flashlights... <laughs> They're getting burgled. <laughs> the Watergate Hotel. Oh, yeah, something happened with Nixon, right? Watergate scandal. I have your discharge papers. Service is up, son. Lovely stuff. Retire. Does this mean I can't play ping pong no more? That mama, she sure was right. It's funny how things work out. <laughs> I didn't stay home for long because I'd made a promise to Bubba, and I always try to keep my promise. Oh yeah, the shrimping. I really hope Lieutenant Dan is gonna be the first mate or something. Wow, that's a big boat. Oh my God. Come on, where's Lieutenant Dan? Where's Lieutenant Dan? Is he not there? What's he gonna call it? I'd never named a boat before. Don't call it Jenny. Please don't call it Jenny. Oh, don't do it. The most beautiful name. No, Forrest. Come on. <laughs> it was inevitable. Oh, Jenny. She's going to OD, isn't she? She doesn't look too good or too happy right now. Oh, my God. 
What is she doing? Oh no, 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 no. I, it was foreshadowing. Okay, she, I think she's gonna come to her senses. Ooh. Whew. There he is, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> What are you doing, Forrest? <laughs> He's like a kid, honestly. He really is. But you'd love a friend like him, man. Loyal, you know? Thought I'd try out my sea legs. <laughs> well, you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dane. <laughs> no yes, shit. I know that. No shit, Sherlock. Over there! They're over there! Get, get on the wheel and take a lap! Okay! That's where we're gonna find those shrimp, my boy! <laughs> My boy! He sounds like that, that uh, fisherman guy from The Simpsons. They are getting hammered. Now me, I was scared. But Lieutenant Dan, he was mad. He's loving it. He's like, woo! -hoo! He probably feels alive, like properly alive. Like back in the war. In fact, only oh. one tripping boat actually survived the storm. And they're gonna no, get all the shrimp. Who is this forest? They're gonna get all the shrimp. It was easy. Woo! Are you telling me you're the owner of the Bubba Gump Shrimp Corporation? Yes, sir. That's him right there. <laughs> What's he doing? Can he swim? Oh, thank goodness. I thought he, he never was... actually said so. But I think he made his peace with God. What? What's what's happening right now? What, I hope that wasn't the end of Lieutenant Dan. Base to one. He is indisposed at the moment. <laughs> his mum. Oh no. Hi, forced. Oh God. Death is just a part of life. Oh. I did the best I could. You did good. This is the first sad scene of the movie. Life is a box of chocolates for us. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna you get. You know what you're gonna get. Mama always had a way of explaining things so I could understand them. And that's all I had to say about that. Damn, what a story. What a movie. I never went back to work for Lieutenant Dan. Though he did take care of my Bubba Gump money. <laughs> he got me invested in some kind of fruit company. Apple Confuser. <laughs> Mate, Forrest is just the best luck. Apart from his mum dying, obviously. And even though Bubba was dead and Lieutenant Dan said I was nuts, I gave Bubba's mama Bubba Shea. Oh. Forrest, what a guy. What a guy. What a guy. I'd always think of Jenny. Oh, <sighs> jeez. Is she really there? He's hallucinating. Damn it. I was kind of hoping. Oh, who's this? Who's this? Please tell me that's who I think it is. She was there. Is it Jenny? Come on, zoom in on the face. Zoom in on the face. Get the fuck in. Get in. Come on, big hug, big hug. Come here. All right. What I've been waiting for the entire movie. Well, to be fair, we don't know what is gonna come for this. What? What's what's going on here? Oh, where she used to live. A lot of bad memories, huh? Mm. Yeah, can't really blame her. All the stuff that happened to her. I forgot about that, to be honest. I've got a bit more sympathy for her now, actually. I completely forgot about the abuse. She gave me the best gift anyone could ever get in the wide world. Just for her. Ah. And it was the happiest time of my life. Gosh, something's gonna happen, isn't it? Is he gonna wake up one day and she's gone? Will you marry me? Wow. Just like that. You don't wanna marry me. Well, why not? I guess, you know, if the feelings aren't there, the feelings aren't there, you know, she, she doesn't, she, she, sh she shouldn't have to fake it, you know, just to make him happy. I'm guessing this is gonna be Forrest's first time, right? Oh, she's leaving. I knew it. Oh, damn it. 
it's a shame that you know there isn't like a bumble or a hinge or one of those dating apps back then dating back then you know must have been like who, only whoever's really in your neighborhood because how else are you going to meet people apart from at work at college that day for no particular reason i decided to go for a little run I thought maybe I'd just run across Greenbow County. Jesus. How's he, how does he not get tired? And when I got there, I figured since I'd gone this far, I might as well turn around, just keep on going. When I got to another ocean, I figured since I'd gone this far. Are you kidding me? He's ran from the edge of the Atlantic to the edge of the Pacific. <laughs> Crazy. What a story. Wow, look at that retro running gear. I mean, that today would be worth a pretty penny. If anyone's got stuff like that in good condition, please send me a DM on Instagram. I'd love to buy it. I love vintage, you know, sportswear. I love it. But most of all, I thought about Jenny. Mm. It's that it's love for Jenny. Look at the beard. <laughs> I can't believe it's really you. <laughs> He's like a celebrity now for I running. It seemed to make sense to people. I said, here's a guy that's got his act together. <laughs> I'll follow you anywhere. You are my leader. I'm in the bumper sticker business. Whoa, man, you just ran through a big pile of dog shit. <laughs> it happens. What, shit? Ah, uh, <laughs> shit happens. Nobody likes that color anyway. Uh, have a nice day. Has he got a perfect facial print? Ah. Oh, anyone who touches Forrest just becomes like a millionaire. <laughs> My mom always said, you got to put the past behind you before you can move on. Mm. And I think that's what my running was all about. Forrest is like the most iconic man in history. Three years! He ran for three years. I can't believe it. Is he finally stopping? Wait, he's gonna say something. <laughs> to them, he's like the Messiah or something. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. Dude, imagine how wrecked your legs would be after running for three years. <laughs> I think if I sat down after that, I probably wouldn't get back up, man. <clears throat> You'd be in pieces. <laughs> Just go home, guys. At 2.25 p.m. as President Reagan was leaving... Oh! Oh, my God. There's been a lot of assassinations of presidents in American history, haven't there? One day, out of blue, clear sky, I got a letter from Jenny wondering if I could come down to Savannah and see her, and that's what I'm doing here. Wow. I mean, with all the money he's got, he could just get a chauffeur, couldn't he? Henry Street is just five or six blocks down that way. Down that way? Down that way. Wow. Hey! Forest! Runner's world going the distance. To be honest, the beard and the hair is actually kind of a good look for Forrest. Makes him look really cool and hipster. Hey, you. That's her kid. This is my old friend from Alabama. Oh, how'd you do? Um, listen, next week my schedule changes, so I'll be able to, but thanks. No problem. Oh, no, no, is that Forrest's son? Okay. Is that Forrest's son? Is that his son? Hold on. He even looks like him. His name's Forrest. Like me. I named him after his daddy. Uh, <laughs> he he is right now like <laughs> Forrest, don't take off running. It's a lot to take in though. It's a lot to take in. Wowza. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Aww. Is he smart? He's oh. very smart. Aww. He's one of the smartest in his class. He didn't want him to be like, you know, oh man. What a movie. This is fantastic. Your dad is a legend, kiddo. Your dad is probably like the most iconic man in American history. Or so, or he's up there anyway. Wow, they even sit the same way with a little tilt. I'm sick. 
What? And the, the doctors don't, they don't know what it is, and there isn't anything they can do about it. Would you marry me, Forrest? Wow. That's what he's always wanted. If the, if the end of this movie is Jenny dying, I'm not watching another movie. That's it, I'll be done with movies. <laughs> I don't want to see that. I mean, surely with the money Forrest has got, he can pay the best doctors to find some kind of, you know, if it's not a cure, some kind of therapy or treatment. Oh, look who it is, Lieutenant Dan. Oh, this is getting me in my feelings, man. You got new legs. New legs. Yeah, I got new legs. Custom made. With all that money. Yeah, this is this is up there with one of the best movies I've seen. Why don't they make movies like this anymore, honestly? Why has everything got to be a damn superhero film? I wish I could have been there with you. You were. Wow. Forrest has got all the chat, man. He knows exactly what to say at the right time. I had you placed. Here under our tree. Oh my God! Little Forrest is doing just fine. At least he's got his son, and you know. So that's why she probably wrote to him, right? Because she knew she was going to die, and she wanted him to. She wanted Little Forrest to have his parent, have his dad. Yeah. And every night we read a book. She's so smart, Jenny. Oh man. <laughs> You'd be so proud of him. Oh, this is so sad. He's had a lot of highs, but these lows have just, you know, hit hard. If we each have a destiny. Oh, yeah. Like his mum said. Or if we're all just floating around accidental, like on a breeze. But I, I think maybe it's both. Yeah, I think so too. A bit of both. A bit of both. I miss you, Jenny. Oh, man. Oh. It's rare that I get so invested in a character, you know? So emotionally invested. Oh, gosh. Oh, he's hit Lil Forrest's first day at school. Okay. Oh. My favorite book. That's the feather from before, isn't it, right? I want to tell you I love you. Mm. I love you too, Daddy. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. That is probably one of the best movies I've seen, honestly. Like, maybe it's the emotional journey. I, you know, you go on watching this. So much happened, so much. It was just, um, just fantastic, honestly. Like, you know, the friends he met along the way, the friends he lost. You know, the just the, the many memorable things. Like if if one of those things happened to one person, that that's that person lived a cool life. You know, he was an all-American football player, he met the president, he won the Medal of Honor, you know, he formed a conglomerate, he ran across America several times, you know, he was an early investor in Apple Computer. He went to the Olympics. I mean, just, <laughs> just. I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff as well. He taught Elvis how to do the that that dance. Just unbelievable life, unbelievable story. Tom Hanks nailed the role. To be honest, every actor in this movie was great, but Tom Hanks nailed it. He he just brought an unreal human connection to the role. It really made you bond with him, like. Phenomenal movie. Let me know any other movies like this that are, you know, to watch because, yeah, this really blew me away. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.